What up, people? Maddie, Maddie D of IT beat in the black. You know, help you achieve emotional, financial, physical well-being, and you know, your relationship coach. Now, hold on. The market's hot. It's humid today. Where I am in Maryland. So you haven't heard from me, and this video is about you know what's going on, and recently how I've had to let my mom go. All right, in the process. Um, I, like, I want to keep it real with y'all. I appreciate you guys who come back and watch the videos and comments. I, I do appreciate that. I want to say that first. But um, recently, I've had to, uh, I guess, I don't know, question my question. You know, what is it I want to do with my mother? And the question I, that I was I was asked, which I didn't think of, was, you know, I'm human. I'm not this guru who comes to coaching. I'm always learning and stuff like that. Question I gotta ask, and question I myself, you know, whether you have issues with both parents or one. Question I was asked for me was, you know, what kind of relationship do you, do do you want to have with your mother? And question I asked myself was, what kind what kind of relationship what kind of relationship do you want to have with your mom, your dad, or both? You know, I got me thinking. I didn't think about that because what happened was recently, um, last couple weeks, um, you know, my mom, my mother, and I were talking, and I, I had come over to help her out with things, and I thought everything was good. She came right back home. It was like, great. I'm like, this is good. Like, we're on good terms, which I like to have. You know, I mean, I'm all about you know protecting yourself when it comes to your parents at a certain age, and you know, if you have to disconnect from them and go away or whatever it is, you got to do what's good for you. At some point, you don't need them. You know, you're always gonna love them and care, but you don't have to. <sighs> Bend, bend over backwards and, and change your life for them if they're not going to reciprocate, you know, and, 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 and if, the, if, if the relationship is not going to be, you know, mutual, mutually beneficial and it's always killing you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to. You, you are your own person. It's your own life. Um, and prior to this, I had seen her Mother's Day, which I can post a video on, on YouTube uh, of her dancing. It was fun. And... I was out with a friend of mine, and my sister had sent me a text. I had been drinking, um, so I was a little, you know, toxicated, not, not wasty face. But I had um, my sister had sent me a text saying, you know, hey, um, where are you? Everyone, everyone's asking me about you, and I'd forgotten that weekend was my cousin's um, wedding, and I was like, I wasn't able to go because of the fact that I had to work that weekend, so I, my sister, I mean, my sister told me about it a week prior, and I couldn't just take off, and I, in a moment, I forgot, I, and I felt kind of, um, I felt sad, I was like, damn, like, I forgot, and, like, everyone's asking about me, and then I, and then I was like, well, normally, no one in the whole family told me, like, everyone thought and assumed that, like, everyone had told everyone, everyone knew, no one told me anything except my sister, and my, I can't, I'm not blaming her, she has her own stuff going on, so she's been not in, not in the greatest of places right now, so she had to focus on her. That's fine. Not her fault, you know? I'm glad she at least told me. So that night, I called my sister. I was like, yeah, like, what's going on? Like, no one told me that's wedding. Like, it's been known. No one told me anything. And she thought that there's an email went or something that, that, that told everyone. Well, I wasn't, in, in, what, uh, no one told me. What really crushed me, and I ended up crying, I'm not going to lie, was what she told me next. She told me, well, yeah, when they announced the wedding and, you know, we're, when, um, we're putting down guests for, for, for the wedding and stuff, she told me that my mother had put down, my mother had put down her name and my sister's name for guests. Didn't put my name down. Didn't even fucking tell me anything, okay? And then and that crushed me because I got real pissed and angry. And I was like, wait a minute. Here I am having decided that I'll help out when I love her and, you know, do what I need to do for, to, for this relationship. And thinking that, oh my God, like, this might actually work. Like, you might be able to be on good terms. She'll tell me things. Apparently not. She still was telling me things. On top of that, too, one more weekend, I had a cousin of mine who I haven't seen since I was 12 came up in the area. And all three of them, my cousin, my sister, my mother, never got back to me on, like, when they were going to hang out and stuff. Like, no one said anything. My mother didn't tell me about my cousin until after one more weekend. And I was just like... My, my mom texted me saying, you know, um, well, hey, I'm sorry that you didn't that you didn't you didn't get to your cousin, and I was like, why didn't you say anything? Like, what are you? What are you? My mom's rationale is it's it's irrational. I'm like, whatever. But that moment when I found it out, like, who are you to determine why who comes to someone else's party or wedding? That really hurt my feelings. I will not lie, it did. And I got mad at my sister, and we're going to talk about it again. My sister was like, oh, Matt, you need to show mom what kind of relationship you have with her. And I'm like, I'm not going to show her anything. I'm tired of showing things. 
I'm not doing it anymore. Because even when I do try and work with her, I still get told of stuff. I'm still shot to the side, but then if I but then she still wants me to come out and owe her and and help her do stuff. I'm like, I'm done doing that. I'm not gonna do it anymore. And I, I, and that night, I'll be honest with you, I left my mom a long voice, man. It was like three minutes, just going off like, not yelling at her, cursing at her, but I was like, Mom, I love you, you need to talk. You don't, you don't understand. Like, why don't you tell me these things? Ridiculous. You know, if you die tomorrow, I'd be crushed. I'd be crushed. If I die tomorrow, you'd be crushed. Like, all these things. Then what I did, I did, I did, I did send her a video, record a video, and then that tore my feelings. I was like, look, Mom, like, this is ridiculous. Um, I love you and I care. I say this, I say this because I care about you, which I want to show the video. Only if you work with me directly one on one, I will. But I just told her more things. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna let you be. I love you. And you know, I said some things like, if if you're really that mad, you can you should be able to forgive me or you know honor the fact that my father was there for us, me and my sister. But she wouldn't. Of course, my mom watched the video. She didn't respond to it. And I told her, I said, look, I'm letting you go. I'm going to let you go and be you. If we don't talk, that's fine. And is what it is. And since then, I felt better. I I reached out the other day and called out the voicemail. She hasn't got back, and that's fine. Not my mother, she's not gonna call back or anything. But my gut is saying that I know this. Her and I aren't done talking. There's more. And I had to let her go. And I was told by my friend Sean and I, because I ended up crying. Um, my cousin Fema and her husband were like, let her go. Um, none of my friends like let her go. And like I've been I've been taught told that. I'm like, you know, I'm letting her be, I'm let her go. I'm just gonna reach out and say hi, let her let her know that I care. But at this point, if she wants to do this game, I don't care anymore. I'm not going to show her that I'm different and changing. I'm going to do what works for me. And if she want to talk to me, that's okay too. Do, do, do. But I let her go. I'm literally, literally letting her go and letting her be who she is and not trying to work on trying to prove myself. I'm trying to show her I'm different. And that's tiring after a while. So I have to let her go and I feel better about it. I feel happy. I'm glad I'm not talking to her right now. <laughs> glad we're not talking. It's probably for the best, you know. And it's something I want to share because you may do that with your own parents. It's true. You may have to do that, you know. And you got to look out for yourself because my mother's not looking out for me. In the day, she's not. If you look at the relationship I have with her, she's looking out for herself. She wants me to come to her and do all these things with my sister for her own benefit. And then, sh- and then decide to show her love for us. The question is, what kind of relationship do I have with her? And is that relationship that I have? Is that is kind of, is that the kind of relationship that that, that I want that, that I want to continue to to uh, what's the word um, interact with and be part of? No, that's selfish as shit. It's selfish as fuck to do that. Like I want to do it with my own child. Like, but I has not do that. And would you want to do it with your own parent? So the question I had to answer was like, what kind of what kind of relationship do, do I want to have with my mother? And I was like, and something says, I can't completely cut her off. Whatever my gut's saying, no, you can't do that because I still care and I'm still I'm always open to having a better, better, better relationship with her. But I asked the question. And so for me, at this moment in time, it could change. The relationship I have is this, where I reach out and I say, hi, I love you, just just to just to say, just to just to say, hey, I care, I'm there. You want to talk, we'll talk. But until then, I'm doing this for my own benefit. For me. And I feel good about that. And I feel happy. So, right now, where we're at is, I call. And that's it. That's what I should have. The relationship that I have with her is, I think about her. I choose to give her love. I choose to feel peace about it. She experienced it. I give her love and peace and let her be. And I hope that she's okay. That's the relationship that I, that I choose to have with my mother. That's the one that works best for me right now. It's having that, having that love. It's like, I love you. I'm here. Do you, mom? Be you, and be, hope you're happy, and let you go. That's the relationship I, I choose to have with my parents. I mean, with my mother. So, I hope this helps with whoever you are watching this. Hope you got some value from this. I don't know. Do let me know. Comment below, and uh, like this video, and you like myself, subscribe. But hey, got any questions? Comment. Shoot me an email. Put my email somewhere in the in the uh, description. Actually, it's there. Let me know. Let me know this helps you out. Hopefully it gives you, um, not hope, but a breakthrough insight of that, you know, that the things, the issues you have with your parents doesn't have to be that way for the rest of your life. You can change. You have the power. You can be sane. You can have serenity. You can choose to have peace and love and forgive them and just really be like, well, that's them. And be like, oh, shit, I'm not mad at them. They're mad at me. It's great. Fuck it. It's a good place to be. 
a good place to be you can say that and still love them and still see the good because in every parent there's good in them you know they're jacked up as hell they're still good and you know what they're still good in my mother there is i will acknowledge it there's good to her man there's there when she dances though like she's been there she's been little she's bought me presents and chris presents video games stuff in the past there's a good mom there, and I told her something. I said, look, mom, there's a good mom there. It's just that mom that I know and love that's still there. I know, I know my mom loves me. Like, I can sense it, too. I can feel it. The benefits of being an empath. <laughs> um, the mom that I know and love is still there. The great mom, the, 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 the forgiving mother is there, is that she, that mom cannot come out because her mom chooses to let her anger and not forgetting and not forgiving get in the way of that. And that's her world. I have to acknowledge that. I cannot change that. If and whenever she's ready to do it, I don't know, probably not. Bay, hey, gotta go. I love her. I love you too. Hope you got some value. Comment below. Like the video. Talk to you soon. Get in the black. Peace.